Here we have a mixture problem. In this case, it's a mixture problem using percents. In mixture problems, you take two things and you have them mixed together and you have some of the facts about them. Maybe it's liquids of a certain concentration and you need to figure out the final concentration. Or in this case, it's money. You've got money in two different funds that you're investing in and, and maybe you want to find out your total profit or how much you've got invested in one if you know the total profit. These kinds of problems can be complicated to set up. So I would recommend always making a chart and putting in all the information you know and then seeing if you can see some relationships from there. Let's start by reading this problem. It says Rachel invested her savings in two investment funds. The amount she invested in fund A was $2,000 less than the amount she invested in fund B. Fund A returned a 4% profit. Fund B returned a 6% profit. How much did she invest in fund B? if the total profit of the two funds together was $820. All right, that's a lot of facts thrown at us all at once. Let's take this step by step and sort it out. The first thing I always like to look at is what do they actually want as the answer? What are we trying to find? And it says here, how much did she invest in fund B? So right off the bat, I'm just going to say, I'm going to call that X. Now let's make a little chart here. So here's fund A, here's fund B. And there's some information in here. Um, there were some amounts. Now fund B, the amount invested, that's what we want to find out. So that thing we can put in the chart is our variable X. Fund A, it says the amount was $2,000 less than the amount she invested in fund B. So this is just X minus 2,000. That's really the tricky part to start off with. Um, there's also a rate here, rate of profit. So fund A was 4%. We'll convert that to a decimal, so 0 0.04. And fund B was 6%, so 0 0.06. And then the actual profit itself. So, and here they're giving us the total profit. So I'm going to add a third row down here. We'll call this total. And um, the total profit of the two funds together was $820. Now, I can fill in these two boxes pretty easily here because the profit is just the amount you have invested times the rate. So this one is 0 0.04 times x minus 2,000. And this one is just 0 0.06 times x. And the profit from this one plus the profit from this one will add up to this. So I can take this column here of the profit and form that into an equation. And it should look like this, 0 0.04 times x minus 2,000 plus profit from the other fund, 0 0.06 times x, is going to equal $820. Okay, so now we have one equation, just one variable x, so we can solve this for x, and that should give us how much uh, she invested in fund b. Let's see, we'll start by distributing the 0 0.04 here, so 0 0.04 times x, uh, 0 0.04 times negative 2,000 should be negative 80, and then we have 0.06x and 820. So let's see, I think I'm going to do two steps here at once. I'm going to combine my like terms. 0 0.04 plus 0 0.06x should just be 0.1x. And then I'll also add 80 to each side. So in that case, I should get 0.1x equals 900. And dividing by 0.1, same as multiplying by 10, you get x equals 9,000. So she invested $9,000 in fund B. Let's try one more. This one may seem even more complicated, but again, uh, setting up a chart is really going to help. Let's read through it once. It says, Charmaine invested her savings in two investment funds. The 8000 that she invested in fund A returned a 3% profit. The amount she invested in fund B returned a 10% profit. How much did she invest in fund B? So that's our question. We'll call that X. If both funds together returned a 6% profit. All right, well, let's set up our chart. So we've got A, 
We've got B. I think we might need a total line too. And we will start with amounts. So what have we got? 8,000 was invested in fund A. So that's 8,000. And we don't know how much you invested in fund B. So that's X. If we're going to fill in the total here, this is just going to be 8,000 plus X. OK, well, let's look at our rates here. So A was 3%. So that's 0 0.03. B returned a 10% profit, so that's 0.1. And then it says both funds together returned a 6% profit. So I'm going to put the 6% or 0 0.06 down here. But you should notice these the amount columns would add together, but the rate columns wouldn't. 0 0.03 plus 0 0.1 is not 0 0.06. Um, it's a different relationship there. Uh, so don't get confused by that. And then finally, we have our profit. So let's see. Uh, well, the profit is easy to calculate here. It's just 8,000 times 0.3. Or 0 0.03, I mean. And here it's 0.1 times x. So I'll just write that as 0.1x. And here our profit is going to be 0 0.06 times 8,000 plus x. And the trick to this one is that these two added together should equal this. The profit from each of the funds added together should equal the profit of the totals. So that's how we'll set up the equation. I'm just going to do this math uh, in my head here. 8,000 times 0 0.03. So you're dividing by 100. So that should be 240. You might want to double check me on that one. So 240 plus 0.1x should equal 0 0.06 times 8,000 plus x. OK, so there's our equation. We can distribute the 0 0.06. So that should be, uh, well, so on this side, I've got 240 plus 0.1x. And 0 0.06 times 8,000, I think, is 480. And then plus 0 0.06x. All right, and if I subtract 0 0.06x from both sides, we would get 0 0.04x over here. And that should equal 480, but I've got my 240 over here as well. Can't forget that. So I just subtract 240 from both sides. And I get 0.04x equals 240. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.04. And I think that's 6,000. Just like multiplying by. 400, yeah. So that should be x equals $6,000. So that is a little bit of work with mixture problems using percents.